So, you've learned a lot about New York City Relief and how you will be serving with us. Or maybe you've already been out on an outreach. You might be asking, now what? While we would love to have you back serving with us and you're welcome to return, we know your giftings, passions, and love are not simply meant for you to pour out on this missions trip and leave it behind when you head home. Yet, the idea of where to even begin may seem daunting. It might seem like we have some special way of doing things or have all of these resources at our fingertips. However, since the foundation of what we do is centered in love, you can take that anywhere. There are some practical ways for you to continue loving people when you get back home. You may find that you have people who are struggling with homelessness and poverty near where you live. Here are some ideas on what to do. Research opportunities to serve through your church or at a nearby organization focused on empowering the marginalized. Be present in the moment when you talk with someone who may be struggling. Simply make eye contact, smile, and ask someone how they are. Get their name, hear their story, bless them with a tangible need, a gift card, a pair of warm socks, a cup of coffee or a sandwich, or offer to pray for their situation. Each person is different and there's no formula. Trust the Holy Spirit's leading in what to do. Be an advocate for changing the perspective of people struggling with homelessness. Share your testimony with your friends and family of what God showed you through your experience of connecting with people at New York City Relief. Maybe your schedule isn't conducive to serving regularly with organizations around you. That's okay. We need people to raise money too. Or you can collect donations to support local organizations you trust that are serving and caring for those struggling with homelessness. Host a fundraiser in your home or on your Facebook page, or have a hygiene kit building party at your child's school. Most importantly, find ways to invite others and spread awareness. You may live in a neighborhood where you don't interact with people struggling with homelessness in the same way that we do being in New York City. Yet the command, love one another, applies everywhere. What then does love look like in your family, in your church, in your school, or in your community? All of us want to be known, to be seen, and to be valued. Many of us are struggling in ways that are hard to admit. Being a safe place for a person to talk through struggles or help them with a need is huge. God may also challenge you to love the person that is the most difficult person around you or the one who no one seems to want to get to know. Jesus spent his time with many different types of people and he repeatedly showed us his heart for people who were the outcasts and others shunned by the world. Who is he asking you to spend your time with? God uses everything about who we are and what we do to enter into our lives and change us from the inside out. The change you want to see in your life or in your community may just stem from changes in your heart first. While hosting volunteers, we've seen people who have confronted their lifelong prejudices for other people. We've had people find Jesus on the streets of New York City the volunteer experience can literally change relationships in your own family, healing brokenness that has lingered for years. God is moving in you. Just be open to it and expectant. The ripple effects of this experience and others may keep resonating for years to come. We are so excited for what God will do through you here what he will continue to keep doing at New York City Relief and how he will use you once you've returned home. All you have to do is have the courage to meet people right where they are and offer them unconditional love. Thank you for spending your time with us.